when Donald Trump was denied the presidency with vote fraud, I was at a very serious point in my life. It was only gotten worse. But I recognized that there is no control in a society, in a country where the political machine can resort to vote fraud in order to win an election. And there's have been vote fraud. If you want to be a person of a different mindset, you're welcome to do so. But if you've been paying attention in America, in the United States of America, there's nobody who considers uh, Joe Biden a great human being. He's not a great politician. He's not a great leader. <clears throat> he's not a great administrator. He's not a great anything. And people who think that he won an election over a proven administrator are deluding them. So the case against Joe Biden winning the election is Joe Biden himself. There's so much in the human story. You know, there's what people confront here in El Paso, Texas, there's what people confront in Uganda, what people confront in Afghanistan, you name it. And we're all being um, I don't know, corralled or herded and being kept in a particular place, and we're not supposed to mess in that place. <coughs> I think that it, it's hard to be uh, living in a society knowing that you have no control. You know, your your work has no meaning, has no value because the government can tax it a hundred percent. Now, it's it's somewhat encouraging that they're fighting amongst themselves. The Democrats are fighting amongst themselves. They're almost like Republicans. We're going to promise a lot, but there's going to be people in our party who are going to get in the way, and everything we said we're going to do, we just can't do. It, it, it's almost a game. It's a, it's a ruse. You mean hustle? Um, <clears throat> what is supposed to happen, and I'm not even going to try to stop coughing, but what is supposed to happen, at least the way the United States of America was organized, with a great man, I don't think there's ever really been great men, uh, evil has its hold on humanity because or not great men. You know, you need unity and you need a clear vision of something good. And there is, I, I was watching, sort of watching this Christian channel about everything that it was supposed to be the United States of America. And it, it, idealistically, it, it's good, idealistically. But to put it in practice, people would rather watch pornography then be part of a loving marriage where they're raising their children with love and with good instruction. People would rather be drunk. You know, people would rather be on drugs. And and you can't you couldn't you can't fight this evil. A person one person cannot fight this evil. And a group of people cannot fight it. You're talking about evil that is in, in the, um, you know, it's in the, the the soul of people like Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Are they aware that they're serving Satan? Or is it all just politics? And in the United States of America, those people who are in office are supposed to be following a... a a decent, respectful, uh, good uh, road. They're supposed to understand that the nation is healthy because of hardworking, productive people. 
and that people are motivated to be hard working and productive when they get the benefit of their labor. Nobody can tell me that, that I have to be ashamed of myself because I have money in the bank. Or I have to be ashamed of myself because I have two vehicles. Or I have to be ashamed of myself because I'm willing to go out and conduct business to earn a living to have what I want in life. I'm not a rich person. Many people would probably call me a poor person. But I'm paying for my life. I'm not asking others to pay for my life. And the political dichotomy, you know, are the Republicans the, the political party of the hardworking, productive members of society, of people with traditional family values? You know, that's what helps a society. Drug dealers don't have to help society. Hey, drug users don't help society. Alcoholics don't help society. Criminals don't help society. They harm society. Illegal immigration harms the United States of America, regardless of where the person comes from. <clears throat> so here we are in, in this having to admit that we're in this society where it doesn't matter if it's Democrat or Republican, they serve Satan, they're part of the Illuminati, they're, they're, they're part of a conspiracy against the human race it, and we have a guidebook that tells us everything that that explains to us everything that is happening and explains to us everything that is going to happen and whether the leadership in China or Russia are aware that they are part of a conspiracy against the human race doesn't matter because they're 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 following they're following their instructions. They're listening to the voices in their head and doing what those voices are telling them to do. And people are dying. You count I mean we should, you know, get on our knees and, and thank God that COVID only took uh, 700,000 lives in the United States of America and I, I don't know how many globally I'm not going to get on the computer right now and, and check it but it could have been worse but I am convinced that this is the new warfare that it came out of China is no surprise because Donald Trump was taking it to China Donald Trump was interfering in China's uh, evil Monopoly. They print money over there. You know, it, 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 their their economy is not based on production and commerce and you know consumerism. It, it, it's based on the government giving money to their friends. They're not giving money to businesses. They're giving money to their friends, which allows for cheap goods, cheap products, which Americans are addicted to. I mean, the Chinese are selling the heroin, but the Americans are the ones taking it. I believe we can fight back. I can believe we can defend ourselves. Uh, I know what the Bible says. You won't be able to buy nor sell without the mark of the beast, the name, or the number. Okay. That, that, if God says that's what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen. If God says that 75% of the human race is going to be killed off, that's what's going to happen. Here in the United States of America, the United States of America does not represent 75% of the human race. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. I, I think that we can fight. I, I think that we can <coughs> unite, work together to help each other out. Those of us who have the same mindset. And I don't, I mean, it, it, yeah, the, the American, some people don't understand this. It's going to be American soldiers walking down the street, American tanks, American military, military trucks, walking down the street, rounding people up, being helped by the local police and the state police and the county police and the FBI and, and the CIA and the NSA. 
you know but I do believe you can fight back you, you may not want to shoot at an American soldier but if they're coming to put you in a concentration camp because you don't believe their way because you don't want to bow uh, at noon and pray to their big golden statue you have to defend yourself I mean a, a lot of uh, Christians are giving me the impression that when it happens they'll just get on their knees and wait for their heads to be cut off I don't believe in that I do believe we have to be worthy uh, or at least honor God I do believe that that it starts with God it starts with Jesus Christ and we have to be meek and humble righteous and pure and innocent you know we have, with the the fruits of the spirit we, we have to be of that spirit but we can still be in the spirit of self-defense uh, there's no winning politically there's so many I mean people are, are, are driving themselves mad thinking about how they're going to take the Congress from the Democrats in the um, in the midterm first of all you're wasting your life if you're not living today today's what you have today's what you can give to yourself give to your friends give to your family and if you're obsessed with politics and you're becoming enraged, enraged and deranged you're no longer thinking clearly you want to harm people you want to destroy things you're wasting your life you, you, you want to be a person of peace you want to be a person who can love their children love his family love her family be joyful in these difficult days you want to have peace in these difficult days you want to have love in these difficult days and, and you know part of psychology is, is part of psychology uh, requires control feeling that you have control and that means planning you know uh, understanding where you want to go where you want to be in this insanity if you think <coughs> the answer is politics no the answer is buying canned goods the answer is getting ready for when the, the military comes down the street looking for Christians looking for conservatives to put in prison and concentrate they won't call them prisons they'll call them concentration camps there's going to be there's going to be a their need for worker camps you know, if you remember the stories coming out of um, out, out of uh, Amazon the people sick not being allowed to go home fainting at work ambulances being called because of the Christmas rush so China has workers camp worker camps because there's, there's certain jobs that people don't want to do and that's going to be America it, it the, the, the <coughs> serving their God Joe Biden serving his God and Kamala Harris and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi you know, they lost sight of the fact that uh, they, they've lost touch with humanity they've lost touch with decency with goodness they think it's all about serving the corporate masters you cannot run a country the way they run the country and think that you're going to have success and do they know of course they know they know that they're harming the country they know they're putting this country under peril and jeopardy they know what they're doing and they do it anyway and it's just for the sake of politics that's too simplistic just for the sake of winning political office of being in control of being empowered you want to be empowered be empowered for something good republicans were not in power for something good during the <coughs> excuse me during the four years of of donald trump donald trump is an outsider if donald trump has enough money not to worry about corporate masters donald trump is not a corporate slave You gotta come to Jesus. You gotta find your peace in God. 
You have to realize that it's going to get worse and there is no salvation under human terms. And it is going to be... It's going to be sad. All the people who are going to suffer. The pain, the hurt, the carnage. But that's for people who don't prepare. Why would God tell us in the book of Revelations everything that's happening? To torture us? To scare us? To see us live in, in utter fear? I think it's the plan. He's, he's given us information once. He, he's telling us that we need to be a different type of people. We need to repent. And we need to obey. And we need to follow. You know, what he has told us about being a good person and being a good member of society, being a good neighbor. And in that, all that pain and suffering from people who are reluctant, who just will not give God his proper place in their life. It is going to be, you have no, you know, if, if you don't plan, you have no refuge. If we don't plan, we, we have no way of dealing with what's going to happen. Um, and it's so obvious. I mean, uh, critical race theory. Men pretending to be women and competing in women's sports. Men pretending to be women wanting to be in, in women's restrooms. I mean, is society falling apart? So has society fallen apart? Society is supposed to represent the ideas of less than 1% out of some foolish idea of kindness. You can be kind to a person without accepting their sin. You can be respectful of another person without being any, having anything to do with their sin. Why is government getting involved in telling the majority your daughters will be exposed to men in their bathrooms not even a function of government especially I mean if, if you want if you wanted to uh, win an election and you wanted to gain majority support that's not a policy that's going to give you majority support and it's uh, not going to copy this maybe Okay, so this is not going to You know, and where do we stand? That's that. That's just the, the issue. Where do we stand? What are we going to do for ourselves? How are we going to live through this tribulation? Uh, you know, seven years. The worst part. One of the things is that we're here and they're over there. A lot of stuff that's going to happen is going to happen over there in Israel, in the Arab nations who hate Israel, uh, being helped by Europe. You know, we're, we're over here. You know, maybe we could save the United States as a sanctuary for all the people who want to escape persecution. America not only is blessed with freedom, but the spirit of freedom. But are you willing to defend it? Are you willing to purge your political system from all those evil people who only care about serving their political masters, their corporate masters? The city representatives, the mayor here in El Paso, Texas, they serve their corporate masters. Screw the average individual. I mean, you should see the, how the city is administrated, managed. I mean, there, there's orange, there's traffic cones, traffic barrels, traffic pylons all over the place, wasting taxpayers' money, and you're driving down roads, and, and, and it's like you're driving down the mountain. 
a mountain road. These are not smooth roads. In baseball parks that are not needed. Uh, <coughs> that stupid thing called, I'll remember it. It's not needed. Nobody rides it. There's no, there's not even ghost on it. Streetcar. $100 million for a streetcar that nobody rides. It's not even functioning right now because of COVID. Just to waste it money. And when, and when some people speak up, they vote against the people. The city representatives, the mayor. Oh, well, thank you for your opinion, but we're going to do what we want. Is what you get out of city government here. Same thing with the county, county government. If COVID taught us anything, it was you cannot trust the health experts and you definitely cannot trust the politicians. And in an emergency, those are the people who you're supposed to be able to trust. You don't do. So I'm doing this video, don't lose your peace. Don't lose your love, don't lose your joy. <coughs> Prepare, plan. God's not gonna get mad at you. God's not gonna say, oh, well, you don't, you don't uh, have any faith in me. If that was the issue, that's what I'm getting from a lot of Christians. It's like, oh, well, God wants us to trust him. Yes. But it, 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 we couldn't go to work. We couldn't go to the grocery store. We couldn't go see the doctor. It, it, we were supposed to live our lives, or, you know, trying to prove that we have faith in God. We have faith in God, but we also have personal responsibilities. That, by the way, God wants us to be involved in. There's baseball, football, and basketball. I don't like them. I know they're evil. They're, they're, they're using their money to manipulate politics. But it's an opportunity to have fun. And God does want us to have fun. God doesn't just want us to be breathing. He wants us to be happy. Even in the worst days of our lives. And from what we read from the... From the Book of Revelations, the tribulation is probably going to be the worst. Is going not probably is going to be the worst. But understanding that, and that He has blessed us with foresight, He's telling us this is what's going to happen. And I think the the the, the message that comes with that is prepare, plan, have faith, but have good faith, have right righteous faith. Don't play with God. Don't say, I'm a Christian, but I can look at pornography. I'm a Christian, but I can get drunk. I'm a Christian, but I can curse. Don't do that. Don't play with God. Be a, a righteous, innocent, um, pure, as far as you can be, will never be God, will never be perfect. You know, talk to your family, Talk to people who be of the main, same mindset as you. I don't have a problem with rifles. I don't have a problem with bullets, guns. But I don't have a problem with, with fighting back. Uh, we only have to fight back if, if we are forced to fight back. If they show up, you know, um, We could very easily go up into the mountains, and there's only a problem if, if they come after us. You you cannot, I, I know this much, can't keep going, can't keep spending money at the rate that they're spending money and think that nothing bad's going to happen. You can't keep, um, you know, attacking decency with your... Sin. Homosexuality is a sin. I don't care how many letters or whatever you want to put on it, it's a sin. Men pretending to be women, sin. Men having sex with men, sin. Women having sex with women, sin. Adults trying to sexually seduce children, sin. And, and the sadness of, of what kind of human being do you have to be to be telling a two-year-old who's a biological boy, you're a girl, you're a girl, 
and then wanting that child to be pumped with hormones and and mutilated and turned into something else. If I was going to take the Republican seriously, I would want to hear some, you know, emphatic uh, statements with, with, with policy and, and put it in the face of Democrats run into the Congress and say, we are standing here and saying that you will not under any circumstances uh, practice uh, gender conversion on children. Under no cir circumstances will you do it. Write the damn policy and get the vote on it. Put it on the record. But Republicans are worthless. They're, they're useless. They're, they're, they're like Democrats, I get I mean, there, there's something that, that little Biden has pushed through with his little pen and executive orders. Are the Republicans challenging them in, in the courts? Can't trust a lot of them, but you can trust yourself. You can continue to be a good person. You don't have to hate anybody. You don't. We do feel threatened. We feel like we're under the gun. But we can have to change our focus and understand that it's better to focus on God, on being godly, taking care of ourselves, taking care of our families, preparing, not letting their insanity get the better of us. It's going to be hard. It is hard. I, I don't, I don't, I mean, my own personal tragedies. And then having to see the country being run by devils who want to destroy conservatives and Christians, hardworking, but without you know, without hardworking, productive, tax-paying people, there isn't anything for anybody. There isn't anything for the welfare crowd. There isn't anything for homosexuals. There isn't anything for anything. You know, the backbone of the nation is it's all the hardworking, productive members of society. All the people who don't use drugs. All the people who raise their children well. All the people who manage their money well. Who don't have vices. Who don't have vices that are destroying their lives. Those are the backbone of a nation. Well. That's the message. It's up to you if you want to listen. The first message that you should take to heart is stay with God. God has shown you. God shows his people. God shows, <coughs> gives good guidance, good instruction. He's telling you to be peaceful, love, and to have joy. He's telling you to continue to follow his ways, to seek him as your Heavenly Father, and, and, and to not be a, a, an evil person. Don't be of sin. And it is going to be tragic all the people who are going to suffer. But I, I think he, he educated us with the book of Revelations because he wants us to be strong. And, and he doesn't want us to fear the future. And he wants us to prepare and take care of ourselves and take care of each other.